Over the years, there has been a huge leap forward in neuropsychology, which refers to the brain's effect on body function. Today's Supercross riders have benefited in many ways from those advances. I think the biggest misconception is that you have to hit your head to get a concussion. Uh, we see a lot of injuries come just purely from whiplash. Kids playing or, you know, jumping off objects at home or trampolines or, you know, all the different things that kids want to do outside of sports causes more injury than the sports themselves. Concussion management has evolved so much. We used to think rest, do nothing, put yourself in a dark room for two weeks and come out and you're going to be better. The brain is one of the most resilient organs that we have in the body. It wants to work, it wants to perform. What we found with specifically supercross riders, these are highly tuned, highly fit, top tier athletes. What we can do is we can introduce a lot of physical activity, we can introduce a lot of rehab instantly. Say a supercross rider crashes on a Saturday, we can start rehab on Sunday. When you get or experience head trauma, your brain immediately experiences dysfunction along a pathway. As long as that pathway can no longer be used, your brain's going to form a detour. We've identified a way to accurately assess and diagnose where the pathway and the dysfunction is, and then we go back and fix the pathway. We'll look at how their eyes are moving or how head and eye movement together may provoke a symptom. Uh, we're looking at neurocognitive test performance, attention and concentration and memory. Say we have a supercross rider and I still get a little bit of like it's blurry in my peripheral vision. Well, I know exactly where in the brain is being affected and I can tell them exactly what exercises to do more of so that it hits that specific target. So I've been really impressed with supercross not having a lot of the bureaucracy that other sports do. It's almost a little bit more open-minded in that regard where when presented with new data, it's taken in and it's listened to and it's put through the lens of how is this gonna make us better.